Hey, I'm Lydia, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get all of the Royal Tools quick and easy. So the Royal Tool quest from Merlin is gonna be one of the first quests that you get in game. These tools are gonna to help you complete other quests, unlock other parts of the village, and interact with new characters. So they're really important and we wanna get them as quickly as possible. The first one that you're gonna to wanna to find is the watering can. When you come out of your house, you will turn towards your house and it'll be to the right in the garden area. Clear away some of the dark thorns and look behind the barrels that are kind of laying on their side and you'll see it right there. Once you pick it up, it's now yours. Using the watering can is pretty straightforward and easy. All you have to do is walk up to a plant on the ground that looks dry and dusty and then using your console's controller, you can water it. The next tool we're gonna to look for is the pickaxe. So you're gonna come out of your house and go to the left into the plaza area and then go down the path and to the left again and you'll see an area with like rocks and uh, dark thorns everywhere and it's buried in a rock. Once you walk up to it, you'll be able to pick it up and you unlock the pickaxe, but you also kind of clear away some of the darkness that is hovering over the valley as well. Using the pickaxe is really simple as well. Just walk up to a mound of stones and use your controller to break it up. You can also use a pickaxe to mine gems from rocks as well. These types of rocks are usually found on the sides of cliffs and they're black. After you get the pickaxe, go and see Merlin by the castle. The reason why you do this is to unlock another quest that you'll be on and also allow you to start collecting Dreamlight. And so you definitely wanna check in with Merlin right after you get the pickaxe. The third tool is the shovel, and this is located by Remy's restaurant. And so from the plaza, you'll make a left and the shovel is leaning against the wall by Remy's restaurant. Using the shovel is just like using the pickaxe and the watering can. You just walk up to a hole in the ground and make sure that you're hovering over it and then use your controller to dig. You'll find all kinds of things in the grounds from seeds to coins or even sometimes recipes. Another use for the shovel is digging holes to plant seeds. You just walk up to any plot of ground and just like before, you dig a hole and then you can plant your seeds. The final tool to find is the fishing rod. This one was the most frustrating for me and I'll explain why in a second, but come out of the plaza and down the stairs using your pickaxe to break apart the rocks and head towards the first pond you see um, straight ahead and to the right. You'll see a fishing rod laying on the ground. Bring that fishing rod to Goofy who is located at the house to the left. You're gonna exchange that fishing rod for your final royal tool, your fishing rod. Here's why it was frustrating for me. Using the fishing rod takes a little getting used to, and so I'm actually gonna slow down the video so that you can see exactly how to use this. So you cast your line, and then wait until a fish is on, and tap the button, and then you wait until the that outer circle line meets the thicker inner circle and turns green. Then you tap the button again. Once you're done learning how to use the fishing rod, head over to Merlin again and complete the quest. And that's it, you're all done. You've found all of the royal tools. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. And let me know in the comments if you're playing Dreamlight Valley and what other questions you might have about the game. Until next time, take care of yourself.